This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, March 8th, 2022. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Um, <laughs> it's the best of times, it is the worst of times. Uh, so here in Lincoln, COVID numbers continue to go down pretty rapidly. Um, we're waiting to see what the, the city says this afternoon, um, but we are moving forward um, at the congregation with, with starting to open things up. Um, we're going to have in-person religious education um, this Sunday for our kids for the first time in in too long. Um, and that is a really, really exciting thing. We're also talking um, about restarting in-person coffee after service this month, which is a thing that I know we've been we've been um, missing for for two years and has been acutely felt. Um, coffee hour in some ways is the, it is the Unitarian sacrament where we gather as a community and, and share and break bread or roast beans as the case may be. Um, at the same time all of this is going on, um, we haven't posted about this on social media but this is as good a place to talk about it as any. So Stacy and I's four-year-old, um, Ailish, tested positive for COVID-19 on Saturday morning. Um, she was uh, she was a little bit under the weather on Friday. Uh, she woke up on Saturday morning with a low fever. Um, we said, "Well, we might as well we might as well run a test just to make sure before we go to this play date." And and sure enough, uh, she tested positive. So um, she's fine. Ailish is fine. Um, she had one day where she ran a fever of about ninety nine point five. And after that 24 hour period has been bouncing off the walls. Um, it does mean, uh, given, <laughs> given the rules of her school, that she is home for 10 days. Um, so Stacy and I are having fun with that. Um, we've both tested positive repeatedly at this point. Um, and uh, if we don't, then obviously we'll quarantine ourselves. Um, more than we already are. Um, but for right now, uh, it is an interesting juxtaposition in my life between moving pretty rapidly towards reopening and, and for the first time in, in two years, having a COVID case here in the house, even if that COVID case is currently chasing our dog around the house, screaming at the top of our lungs. That's apparently what COVID looks like with our daughter. So... Um, if you send me emails or texts this week, please understand that, um, I may not get to them as fast as I would otherwise, because we've got the child at home for 10 days, and, um, and thank you for, for all of your support and well wishes, those who have, who have talked to me in the last couple of days, I really, I really appreciate it. Anyway, um, we will see you in the update on Friday. Um, we'll let you know if there's more information from the city this afternoon. Um, I'm looking forward to this upcoming three-week um, sermon series on renewing faith and, and what it means to talk about that in, in the context of this world that we are in and the circumstances that we are in right now. But we will pick all of that up on Friday. Have a great afternoon, everybody.